That being said, the other day, um, we all know about the protests that have been raging throughout the country. The protests that have uh, ultimately, in some places, turned into very violent riots, actually. In, 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 in a city that I know, seven people were shot. Trump wanted to address the nation after his extended stay in the um, White House basement um, while people were uh, r- um, getting very upset uh, at the fact that <laughs> at the fact that uh, police were just uh, killing people in the street, uh, mostly as a meme, um, and then walking away and getting away with it. People were very upset at that. Trump uh, decided to, um, I, I, I have no clue, maybe eat Oreos and watch Fox News in the basement of the White House while other people uh, dealt with his dirty work. But the man uh, pulled it together, um, had um, Melania Trump tie his tie, and he walked out into the um, Rose Garden the other day to come out with a very, very weird speech. I, this is, it, it's, it, it was really weird. Um, he decided to come out with a speech about how he's going to address the riots going on, address the nation about um, uh, the George Floyd killing, all those sorts of things. And he came out with a uh, with this. We can we can just watch it. I don't have to tell you when I can show you what the man said. And I started this at a very specific point because this is where he talks about um, how he. That this is where he talks about the actions that he's going to take from this speech onward, dealing with the riots. Today, I have strongly recommended to every governor to deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers that we dominate the streets. Mayors and governors must establish an overwhelming law enforcement presence until the violence has been quelled. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property, of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. I am also taking swift and decisive action to protect our great capital, Washington, D.C. What happened in the city last night was a total disgrace. As we speak, I am dispatching thousands and thousands of heavily armed soldiers, military personnel, and law enforcement officers to stop the rioting, looting, vandalism, assaults, and the wanton destruction of property. So, here, here's Trump, right? And I want to take a very specific point of this because he's, he said it. This is not cherry picking. He said this. How he said he's going to override the will of governors and state officials to deploy the military to quell the riots. Or even, in this case, maybe even protest. Where are the states' rights conservatives? Where are they? <laughs> Where I haven't seen them personally. Where are the states' rights conservatives talking about how the president of the United States will take an executive order to override the will of governors, democratically elected governors, who control their states, who don't want the military involved in their state affairs in dealing with these riots? I think that states should have some leeway with controlling what goes on within their borders. I mean, that's a community there. And I uh, I believe that the federal government should have some say over what those states should be doing. But in this case, I don't think that just rolling out uh, the the Navy SEALs to uh, 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 black ops soldiers to um, dispatch and disperse protests all around the country is necessarily the best way to do things and lots of people feel that way as well mostly because the military by the constitution cannot engage in law enforcement uh practices they cannot they can't arrest you the military cannot arrest you um that's why governors don't want the military in their states because they can't legally enact um law enforcement they 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 just can't um that's what the national guard is for That's why some states want the National Guard to come over, because those guys are legally police. They can arrest you. They can stop you. They can engage in that sort of action. The military can't. And I think it's really weird to have this man come out and be like, we will send the military to dominate the streets um, over the will of the basically the will of the people. I think I, I don't think that should I don't think that should happen. That's really not okay. We can watch a little bit more of this.
we are putting everybody on warning. Our 7 o'clock curfew will be strictly enforced. Those who threaten innocent life and property will be arrested, detained, and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I want the organizers of this terror to be on notice that you will face severe criminal penalties and lengthy sentences in jail. I don't know how he's going to try to enforce lengthy sentences in jail or anything. He can't. Just like he tried to uh, make Antifa a terrorist group. Like he thinks that uh, like people people are in their bunk. Like Antifa, like um, uh, Osama bin Laden, um, the, the leader of Antifa, uh, a gay lord steam bath, is in, is in a bunker somewhere deep under the earth's crust, you know? Uh, just, just, <laughs> just printing gay pride stickers and um, um, uh, and uh, and and sewing up black masks that uh, that get proliferated through the country through underground um, uh, uh, like through underground um, uh, pathways to uh, other Antifa organ. Listen, Antifa is just a thing. It's just an ideology. You just buy into it. That's it. I have an Antifa sticker on my laptop that I use um, because I I because I work in my um, my local uh, anti-fascist organization. We help. I don't do anything like on the ground, but I help like um, give notice to some like fascist um, uh, organize. Uh, so I give uh, like notice to some fascist organizing that goes on. I help bust that sort of stuff up in my spare time every now and again. I haven't done it in a little bit, but maybe <laughs> with this going on, I'll I'll have to get back into it. You can't just like do you can't do in it. I mean, you can't like be an Antifa. It doesn't work like that. Um, but while Donald Trump was making the statement, he was actively dispersing a peaceful protest. Now, how do we know this? I mean, we could we could just take a look here. This is this is the podium after Trump got off. And let's let's take a let's take a listen to what was going on. That's right, Wolf, and we just heard three more explosions, and I can tell you, Wolf, uh, when that tear gas was fired out uh, on the street uh, near the White House, you can smell it uh, down the block. It is not something that you just have to be in that same vicinity in order to experience that, and it, I think it does beg the question, why is the president delivering this address to the nation in the Rose Garden, where clearly we're going to hear these explosions, and there so not even a mile away. If if you heard if you heard that, uh, hopefully hopefully you were able to hear that. That was not firecrackers. Uh, that was not those uh, those thunderclappers that they give to you at um at, at football games. No, those were tear gas canisters and rubber bullet cartridges going off, clearing out a peaceful protest that Trump was walking to. And and we can take a look what was going on. Here's a here's a little clip of what people were uh, were seeing. Um, people being cleared out, people having to wear masks. You can hear people coughing. As a chant of uh, hands up, don't shoot is going off. They're running. That guy was just limping. Did he? Was that guy just limping by? Yeah, look at him. Yeah, he was just shot. That guy was just shot with a rubber bullet. He had to get out. Um, and here's some even more. This one is from a an, uh, MSNBC reporter on the ground uh, while this started. This is the worst one. Police have been coming to oh, if you're if you're sensitive to any violence, I say look away now. This one this one isn't very nice. Down the street, you're going to see them in the frame now, using flashbangs in front of them and mounted police to clear what has been an entirely peaceful protest. Not 98 percent. Not 99 percent, but 100 percent peaceful protests here today. People throwing, no, there was no throwing of water bottles. There was no throwing of objects. But a short time ago, mounted police officers have been clearing the street. Tony, if you can pan to the right, I want to show the military police. I want to show the military police on the side of the street. Over the last half hour, we've had military police. We've had Secret Service officers, we've had park police, and now we've had National Guardsmen uh, lining the fence. They've been stepping up closer and closer and closer over the last few minutes. You can see them lining the fence just a short time ago. We heard them firing those pepper balls into the crowd here as they've been trying to disperse people. You can see these officers aiming at the protesters who are here in the park. Uh, as we're being cleared back along the sidewalk here in front of 8th Street. Again, from where I stood, I could see absolutely nothing. Hang on a second here. 
Ma'am, are you all right? I no, got, she's not fucking all right, man. I got hit bad. All right. I had to pull the mic there, but you could hear her say she got hit bad. Look, Ari, obviously this is an incredibly volatile situation here, and we're going to try to keep our distance from it as best we can. But this is by far the largest law enforcement presence I've seen in this park in the last three days and by far the most aggressive action I've seen by law enforcement in so this Garrett, park in the last three days. This is... This goes further than your average run-of-the-mill abuse of power by an elected official. Um, usually when we see, when we talk about, like, abuse of power, we, we're talking about, I don't know, like you, you uh, slapping the ass of, your, of the receptionist in your office or uh, insider trading, something, some white, some lame white-collar crime. This is the president trampling on the rights of law-abiding citizens. Now, even the right, they love, they want to make it as easy as possible to hand wave away these protests um, by equating all the protests around to the violent riots. You heard the man there who was on the ground. This was not a 98% peaceful protest. This was not a 99% peaceful protest. This was a 100% peaceful protest where people were just simply letting their voices be heard on the streets of Washington, D.C., where the president used his, mili used his military force, used the uh, uh, Capitol Police to create a violent, dangerous situation for the people who were flexing their First Amendment rights. I just want, I just want to think about that for a second. That's insane. And you saw that poor woman there who had to be carried away. We have no clue what happened to her. It's probably a combination of choking on um, uh, choking on tear gas and getting hit by a, a couple pepper balls and maybe a rubber bullet. Who knows? Trampling on these people's First Amendment rights. Creating a violent situation where people could be dangerously hurt. Usually not mortally wounded but very hurt maybe even killed with uh with people having to run away um and all for what what was what did this culminate into and and let me show you here's what here's what this all came uh came from here it is let me get it for you here's what all of this was for If you're able to hear it there, um, a, a reporter yelled out, Mr. President, is that your Bible? And he responded, it's a Bible. So the danger that he put these hundreds of people in engaging in a very peaceful protest, a 100% peaceful protest, bringing out the, the military police, bringing out mounted police, bringing out the tear gas, bringing out the flashbangs, bringing out the rubber bullets. He did all of this to have a garbage, ugly photo op in front of a um, uh, uh, um, in front of a building holding someone's Bible. Who knows? I don't know if I don't know if he uh, uh, like rented it. Um, I don't know if he bought it used off of Wish. I'm not sure if Mike Pence let him borrow his for the day or something. I, I have no clue, but it's someone's. Um, I'm not sure if Trump even knows where it came from. So he just said it's a Bible. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, maybe he maybe someone one of the peaceful protesters that was there um, uh, while they were uh, uh, clenching their their chest after getting uh, hit multiple times with a, a rubber bullet for uh, just not wanting uh, people to get uh, uh, murdered in the street by cops. Uh, dropped it while they were running away uh, from the the mounted police. You know, who knows? Maybe he just picked it up on the way there. We have no clue. Uh, what we do know is that this is a disgusting show of force um, uh, to regular human beings who were doing absolutely nothing wrong. Um, the abuse of power is disgusting.